The Longhorn Ballroom is back in business. A ribbon cutting on Thursday kicked off the return of live music to the legendary concert and dance hall, which had been closed to the public since 2019. This is about our community. It's about the culture in our community. And really it's about preserving Texas's most historic music venue. Located in Cedars, just south of downtown Dallas, the Longhorn Ballroom first opened back in 1950 for country music legend Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys and was originally named Bob Wills Ranch House. Through the years, it's hosted music legends like Hank Williams Jr., Bo Diddley, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Loretta Lynn, a young George Strait and B.B. King, just to name a few. But the music hall fell on hard times over the years and at one point was considered a threatened historic property. Then the city of Dallas stepped in and helped owners revamp things. It's actually remarkable because this building uh, had sat in disrepair for years and to be able to bring it back and breathe life back into it is amazing. I mean, it has so much history, so much cultural legacy. Jeffrey Lyles worked here as a booking agent back in the 80s and before that he was part of the crowd inside during the brink of the punk rock era. Sex Pistols played here in 1978. I was in 11th grade. As it turns out, that was the first of many punk rock shows that would end up happening here over the years. Patti Smith played here and the Ramones played here and the Chili Peppers and TSOL and, and acts like that. And with a whole new lineup, a popular artist starting this week, the music will play on. In Dallas, Stacia Wilson.